I did not grow up in the U.S. I was born in a tiny country called Bhutan, um, out there in the Himalayas that many people don't even know whether it exists. Um, due to political circumstances, we were driven out of the country when I was 18, and then I lived as a refugee in a refugee camp uh, in Nepal for 20 years before I actually settled myself. Uh, we, we got a chance, we got an opportunity to uh, to come to U.S. I'm Dhruva Mishra. I'm the branch head for Self-Defense System Safety uh, branch in the System Safety Division in Naval Surface Warfare Center, Dahlgren Division. I used to be a professor uh, before I came to Dahlgren, so I was teaching a differential equation class, uh, and one of my students happened to be from Dahlgren. And it just, from nowhere, a conversation started and he said, are you interested to work for the Navy? And I said, where? And he goes, in Dahlgren. I said, where is Dahlgren? You know, the conversation spurred and we started talking more. And then he told me what cool stuff they do here and, and how much mathematics is applied in so many things. So me being a mathematician, I was very interested in, okay, let me go and see. That's how I came to Dalgan, and then since I came, I have never had to regret one moment. Um, I've loved every bits and pieces of what I've done in Dalgan so far. For the, I mean, the 20 years that I spent in refugee camp, it's, it was not the easiest or the most convenient thing I've done in my life, but it has taught me a lot about who I am today. Um, you know, I contribute most of my success to the time that I have spent in the refugee camp because it, it just teaches you to be strong, to be resilient, to face the challenge. Um, and, you know, I've been able to utilize that in, in Darwin pretty much. You know, in the modern day, um, we tend to get bogged down by simple things like, you know, challenges, a little bit of challenges here and there. But um, take the challenges as opportunities because there's always an opportunity hidden inside a challenge. If you're able to see the brighter side of the challenge, then there is that opportunity and the winning formula is within that opportunity. You just have to be able to find it. Sometimes when I tell my stories to people, I say, I grew up in a farm watching my father plow field with oxen, not with a tractor. And then, you know, um, I, as a child, I used to watch him make patterns in the field. And, you know, I used to, I used to just wonder, but only later in my life, I realized that that wonder was actually that little genius mathematician hiding inside me at the time, right? And then coming from that kind of, that, that side of the world with that environment all the way to the U.S. and also joining the U.S. Navy, it was not just a big deal, but also a huge transition in my life. Because when I first came to Dahlgren, even though I knew about how cool mathematics was being used, physics being used here, and you know, the weapon systems and all of that, but, but I didn't know about how Navy ships, like, you know, I've, I've ne I had never seen them. I just knew that I had to work double extra hard than the rest of the community here because if you're educated here you have you know you're you, you're born here chances are that your parents might have talked about this to you or you're somebody in your family or your friends or any circle would have talked to you but for me it was totally different nobody knew about this the tough things that you learn comes into play when you have to transition your life i was a teacher a professor for the past 25 years in my life and then all of a sudden I changed my profession to being a scientist, an engineer, a mathematician in the U.S. Navy. So that was a hard transition to me as well. And it took, you know, a good six to eight months for me to actually settle down and realize that this is what I'm going to do in the future.